Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Frax here, bringing you all the news you crave for Rust development. And this week, I'm going to try to round up all I know about what's coming in July's patch for you, which shouldn't take long. There are some good quality of life things on their way, but I will say it's fairly lightweight as far as patches go. There are some thrilling things coming down the pipe in the distance, though, and I'll tell you what I can see through my binoculars for those as well. First, some quality of life stuff, and on staging at the moment, as default, kayaks will now face away from you, and mailboxes, barbecues, medium batteries, and wind turbines will face towards you when placing. Horses can use elevators again. Huzzah! Although, if someone's underneath when they descend, then it's not particularly good for the horse either. I'm sure this is a bug that'll get squashed soon though. There are some new idle animations in the inventory screen, which makes your character feel that bit less like a mannequin, and hopefully this is a precursor to status anims coming in soon at some point one day in the future. On the admin panel, the ability to view and delete player-generated content and other forms of high art on the server is being worked on. A number of spawnable presets for cars have been added for admins to take advantage of, and I'll list these in the description. Although they don't come with components or fuel, so you'll still need to use the fix cars command on them. There are also some tiled cube prefabs coming for map makers, and here's a preview. These will include brick, concrete, metal, and wall tile variants. Work on Happis Island continues, with a sperm kit and gas station being added to the desert area. The server browser will soon show whether a server has a custom map, and trains will soon be getting horns which you'll be able to use with the left mouse button. But this isn't merged in yet, so you'll just have to make do with this mock-up. In works in progress, and this is where it's all happening at the moment, or not. <laughs> the train yard update is hopefully going to be testable on the staging branch near you from next week sometime, although it won't be going live on the release branch until August's patch. This will include the new reworked train yard monument with a new ore processing section that I believe will be an event involving a train. This will also require the monument itself being hooked up to the rest of the rail network and hopefully all the other monuments too. Light switches are being added to certain monuments as well soon because energy prices, probably, and that should make for some fairly interesting plays. Pets are still being worked on heavily, with a GSD model being mentioned, which I'm thinking either stands for German Shepherd Dog or Geriatric Sausage Dog. I think I know which one it is, though, and if so, it should be great for getting into small places for reconnaissance purposes. The Nexus branch is getting plenty of love, too. If you remember, this is the function to allow travel between certain groups of linked servers via a ferry. And it seems as well as the normal island map we're used to, there'll be a larger scale map that shows all the linked islands, their player counts, and where you are currently. <laughs> what a time to be alive. And lastly, a parachute branch has sprung into life this week, and although it's too early to tell the full story, it seems that weapons will be allowed whilst it's deployed, although you won't be able to steer whilst one's held. You'll need to be above a certain height to deploy one, 20 meters at the moment, and it'll be possible to repack and presumably reuse them, although I'm sure this is all subject to change. As I say, it's a short and sweet one this week, but why not let me know what you think to the next round of changes down below. You can catch me streaming on Twitch, you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, my Steam group to stay up to date with my content when I produce it, and you can contribute to the channel's survival via YouTube memberships, my Patreon, or my merch store. All the links will be below. I shall catch you all very soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk.